Hey, welcome back. Uh, final video for the 2016 Backyard Games. We have event four, is actually workout number three. Remember, workout number two, Thin Red Line, has two score components, so that is events number two and three, as you will see them in the scoring system. Workout number three, event four, Feel the Burn. Uh, starts out. 50 heavy rope single unders. Uh, what is a heavy rope, you ask? Well, this is not the first time the heavy rope has made an appearance in the backyard games. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you can ask somebody who's already been here, uh, or we will have some heavy ropes here on site for you to check out uh, when you get here on Saturday. So, heavy rope single unders, uh, 50 of them immediately into Thrusters and weighted walking lunges. So the heavy rope single unders are the buy and once you finish that 50th single under with the heavy rope, you're gonna have a barbell and you're gonna have a lane. Uh, you're also gonna have another bumper plate that you will carry with you as you are lunging. Barbell thrusters. Uh, barbell starts in the rack position on the shoulders. This is a full depth squat, meaning the hip crease passes below the top of the knee at the bottom of the movement. At the top of the movement, the bar is locked out overhead with your elbows locked, the bar over the midline of your body, your hips and knees extended. Uh, <clears throat> any way you want to get there is fine. As far as we're concerned, for the Backyard Games event number four, um, we are looking for those two points specifically. If you need to front squat and then push press, or even front squat and push jerk, or split jerk if things are getting really desperate, as long as you meet the hip crease below the top of the knee at the bottom, and full lockout at the top with your feet underneath you, and the hips and elbows and knees fully locked out, that's totally fine. So any of those variations are allowed. Thruster is the recommended movement and the, uh, the written movement here. Weights vary according to category, so I'm not going to dig into that. You guys should all, by this point, know who signed up, uh, what your category is, and what weights you have. If you don't know that stuff, it will be listed on the Facebook event page, uh, where we have all the workouts announced. It will also be available for you on the day of the event, but hopefully, maybe, you've been practicing a little bit and you know what you're in for. After each set of thrusters, 12, 9, 6, and 3, you have a 50-foot set of walking lunges, right? You are holding a bumper plate, so these are weighted walking lunges, WWL, weighted walking lunges. A couple of things that we need to specify here. Each walking lunge starts with both feet behind the line. You'll have a 25 foot out and 25 foot back lane in which to perform these. Both feet behind the start line. You step out and you're going to bring your back knee all the way to the ground. If I do that right here, you won't be able to see me anymore. So. Back knee touches the ground on every rep. You may bring your feet back together or you may step right through, but either way, we need to see knee and hip locked out with you at full extension on each rep. So if your knee does not touch the ground or if you're short changing the reps, if you're scooting through these really low walking lunges, um, those are also gonna be no reps. If you miss a rep or if you drop the weight for some reason, you will be called back to the finish of your last successful lunge. The judge will mark that spot on the ground with their foot. They will call you back to that spot. You need to start with both feet in line with that spot and then continue your walking lunges. 25 feet, when both feet have crossed that 25 foot line, you've successfully completed a lunge with both feet across that line, you may turn around and start your walk back. So 25 feet out, 25 feet back. The standards all apply. As far as the weight is concerned, I believe the workout announcement says you can hold this weight any which way. And that is exactly what we have in mind. So weighted walking lunges, you can hold the weight overhead, you can hold it on your chest, you can wear it like a hat, you can hold it on one shoulder, you can hold it down by your side. However you want to hang on to the weight, that's fine as long as you are carrying it with you. You may not roll the plate along on the ground beside you, even though you're touching it. Yes, I know. No, it doesn't count. Uh, you must be supporting the weight in some way, shape, or form with your body. Uh, there are probably some smart ways to carry it, and there are probably some not so smart ways to carry it. I'm going to leave that up to you guys to experiment with and find out what works for you. 
thrusters, walking lunges. After your heavy rope buy-in, you work your way through this series where you cross the line, both feet, after your final walking lunge, uh, or your final 50-foot walking lunge, time will be recorded, and that is the score that goes into the scoring system. Um, there's not a whole lot of other movement standards to talk about here. Thrusters are pretty straightforward, walking lunges are pretty straightforward. Again, you've got the plate, varying weights according to different categories. If you have questions on that stuff, check out the event uh, announcement on the Facebook page. As always, I'm sure you guys will have more questions. That's fine. Save them for the athlete meeting or hit them up in the comments uh, either on Facebook or on YouTube or shoot us an email. Any of that stuff is fine and we will get back to you as soon as possible. The event's coming up. It's only a couple days away. We're looking forward to a great one and we hope you guys are just as excited about it as we are. Uh, in between now and then, I hope you get a little bit more sleep and we will see you on Saturday.